So this is the uh, this is the post that uh, Jerry Rig Everything made. Okay, so he made a tweet and said said this. He said, "This might let me move my camera. This might get me banned, but I'm no Mr. Beast. I do, however, consider myself a professional content creator." With some semi-viral 17.6 million impressions here on X over the last 70 days, okay? With all of those impressions, X has paid me about $2 a day to post here, okay? So that's, he states, that's equivalent, that's about $187.66 over 70 days with 17.6 million impressions, okay? So about $2 a day. For transparency, those same views over on YouTube would be worth anywhere from $17,000 to $30,000. Now, okay, Here's the thing, though. I mean, some people kind of pointed out and said this and that. Ultimately, YouTube views are a little bit different than uh, X or Twitter views because um, the the Twitter views, the impressions on X don't actually mean that they're like full on views. Right. So although you might have a video posted and your your tweet gets, um, you know, let's say a million views the video might only get like half a million views. So it's kind of skewed a little bit there, but still 17.6 million impressions, people seeing their his posts, 17.6 million. That's a lot for $2 a day, $200, a little under $200. That's, that's oof. And then he just mentioned that those same 17.6 million views on YouTube, 17,000 to $30,000 roughly, according to him. Not apples to apples, obviously. X is definitely a fun place to shoot the breeze, but for an average non-boosted account like mine, there's definitely no money in creating content specifically for X. And I agree, not to mention the compression that X does as well. If you post a YouTube video on X, I don't care if it's 4K, 8K, 16K, 100K resolution, I don't care. It's going to look like garbage because Twitter's compression makes a video look like garbage, right? It's terrible. The quality is awful. And Elon Musk is trying to make Twitter a like a, um, a viable option for you to live stream, for you to post your videos on. And it just isn't viable. It's not, okay? It's just not viable um it, it's it, it just it looks like crap man everything looks like garbage functions like garbage there's definitely no money in creating content specifically for x i could make more money selling lemonade on a street corner in winter and i agree i could go for some lemonade i go for some water right now i agree with it right i agree with it so this right here is 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 kind of uh it's kind of crazy right it's kind of crazy honestly. Um, but he's right though. He is literally right. hundred percent. So I give him props for, for at least talking about it though. Shout out to him. And I think this came shortly after the Mr. Beast post. Okay. So Mr. Beast posted a YouTube video, one of his old videos on Twitter, and it got a lot of impressions. He made, what did he say? How much money did he make on it? Like 250,000 or something like that? I don't know. He made a lot of money off of it. However, there's a couple different issues with that. One, you have advertisers specifically targeting those videos because they know they're going to get a lot of views. Okay, so advertisers in the comment section and stuff are going to specifically target those uh, Mr. Beast videos. Not to mention... Elon Musk and every every grandma and grandpa were making you know posts about the uh, the Mr. Beast posted a video, so that first video is obviously majorly skewed, okay? Because Elon Musk posted about it. little everybody on the platform is posting that oh hey Mr. Beast posted one of his videos on YouTube, everybody was talking about it, so of course that video is going to get a lot of views, it's going to get a lot of impressions, and the amount of money that he would get from it is way more. Than, than the average person, okay? Because it saw so much attention. So, yeah. Yo, uh, Gersey Buckaback, by the way. So, yeah, there you go. I just figured I'd throw that out there. 